Hi everybody, this is Michelle. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today's cookbook that we're going to look at is Better Homes and Gardens all-time favorite hamburger and ground meat recipes. The book is 11 and a half inches tall, 8 and a half inches wide, and 3 eighths of an inch thick. It was first copyrighted in 1980 and it's had its 12th printing in 1988. The recipe we're going to make today is Spanish rice skillet on page 83. The book has a total of 96 pages. I love this book. I bought this book off of Amazon just recently. I had it in my possession a long time ago and for some dumb reason I got rid of it so I got it back. It has great photographs in it. It has pizza recipes, lots of ground beef recipes. It also has recipes that have pork and ham. I just think it has a real good variety of things in here and I found a lot of things that I'd be interested in making. So without further ado, let's get at the recipe today. Okay, my friends, we are about to prepare this Spanish rice. In the book, it actually says Spanish rice skillet, which doesn't seem to really flow that well, but we're going to be using this enameled cast iron. We have a pound of ground beef, three slices of bacon here chopped, a quarter cup of green pepper. There's a little bit more there, but that won't hurt anything. Half a cup of onion, half a cup of chili sauce. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Yeah. Two cups of water. We have a can of tomatoes there and one cup of rice. Now that can of tomatoes is a little better than 14 ounce. The recipe calls for 16 ounces, but we're gonna make do with that because that's the size cans we have available to us. So at any rate, as I said, the recipe calls for a pound of ground beef, three slices of bacon, and the onions and the green pepper are to be fried together until everything there is cooked and then drain the grease. So when I get to that point, I'll bring you back in, show you that, so stay tuned. Okay, so you can hear this sizzling. I just drained the excess fat off, the excess grease. You can also hear maybe the cat crying because she has decided that it is time for her to eat. I'll feed her in a minute. A teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, which is in this, and I forgot to mention it previously. So I guess we just throw everything in. Tomatoes, it said first. And my, my arm is completely in the road. So I apologize about that. So there's that. I'm going to put the water in at this point. I'm going to throw in my one cup of rice. My chili sauce. And I apologize, I was not thinking about being right-handed, but this is really about my only chance to set that camera up anyway. So that's in there, the salt and pepper. Yes, kitty. And one teaspoon of this. This is very simple. Very simple. Teaspoon of this stuff. Gonna stir this all up. Get it boiling and then it simmers for 20 to 25 minutes. Covered, it says. So, we're just gonna bring that to a boil and then cover it. And as you can see, it's almost there. Grab my cover. Turn my stove down to there to simmer it. 
and we'll bring you back. Okay, here is what it looks like after 30 minutes. I gave it an extra five minutes because I thought the rice tasted a little bit undercooked. You can see it's sticking a little bit on the bottom here. I had given it a taste before, obviously, to find out what the rice was like. And there's a little tiny bit of kick because of the chili sauce. Okay, so here is the finished product. It took 10 minutes longer to get to this stage than what the book said because the book said, actually 15 minutes, because the book said 25 minutes. At 25 minutes, I said it needs at least five more and ultimately this was 40 minutes to get to this stage. Now, we have tasted it and it is absolutely delicious. Tiny, tiny little bit of a kick to it because of the chili sauce but certainly you could serve this to children and they wouldn't have anything to complain about so this is a lovely lovely meal was it hard to make absolutely not and I think tomorrow warmed up it'll be even better so yeah I would I would give this a thumbs up definitely Okay, everybody, that's it for this video. I hope you would consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I hope you would click the like button and the notification bell so that you know when we put a new video up. If you have this cookbook, I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. And if you're interested in finding this cookbook, which I would definitely recommend, you can find it in used bookstores, online. You probably will have to do kind of like a treasure hunt to find it, but I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again in the next one and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.